<laughs> I see you're recording because I can tell my <laughs> Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, let's see, today we're learning Always on the Bright Side of Life, Monty Python. Alright, uh, there's really only two sections. Uh, you got uh, A minor 7, D sharp diminished 7, G6, oh no, sorry, a G to a G6, and then A minor 7, same thing. G sharp diminished 7, G to a G6. Then the third time, A minor 7, D sharp diminished 7, a G, and then an E7, and then an A7, things will turn out for the D7. And that's that whole section. So it's like, uh, let's see, what are the words? Uh, some, some things in life are bad, they can really make you bad. Other things just make you smile and curse. Chewing on life's whistle, don't bubble, give a whistle, and this will help things turn out for the best. So that's that whole section. So it's uh, it starts on an A minor seven, so that's the uh, fifth string open, uh, fourth string second fret, third string open, second string first fret, and open first. And I get my thumb up here to kill the sixth string. Okay. Then the D sharp diminished seven, uh, fourth string first fret. 2nd string 1st fret, 3rd uh, string 2nd, and 1st string 2nd. I'm going to avoid these two strings with my pick. If you hit them, it will sound horrible. So, you just got to be careful with that chord. Your next chord, just a, a regular G chord. 6th uh, string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, open, 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 1st string 3rd fret. And then if you want to go to the G6, all you have to do is lift up and have an open first string. That's one way to do it. I'll show you later uh, a different way to do it. But uh, then what do we got? And so that those chords repeat uh, two times around. Then the third time around, it's it's uh, the new chord is the E7 you go to. Uh, a couple different ways you could do this. Fifth string, second fret. Third string, first fret. You could do it like that. That's an easy way. You can strum all the strings. Uh, you could add, I like to add my pinky on the second string third fret. For this song, it sounds a little bit more like what's going on in the song. Uh, and then you got an A7, which an A7 is the fourth string second fret, third string second fret. I mean, uh, second string third, uh, second fret. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and again, I get rid of the sixth string on A chords. And then the D7, fourth string open, third string second fret, second string first fret, first string second fret. You can even strum the fifth string on that one. I get rid of the sixth string with my thumb again. So that's the hard part, uh, is getting rid of the, the sixth string. All right, and then the chorus of the song is the same four chords four times in a row. They just keep repeating. Um, so I'm going to go down, down, up, down, So my strum pattern is a G chord, down, down, up. Then my next chord is an E minor 7. A uh, wicked easy way to do this is just to hold down the 5th string, 2nd uh, fret. It's the easiest chord ever. Uh, I think if you do an E minor, so 5th string and 4th string 2nd fret, and then add a finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret. That sounds a little better. Um, it's a little bit more complicated, but it's, it's not too bad. Uh, so, G to E minor 7, A minor 7 again, and D7. You already know those chords from earlier. And that's the part where they you know, always stick on the right side of line. And the whistle. And that's it. It's just those two sections. They keep coming back and forth. Uh, Alright, any questions, uh, leave them in the comments section and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more lessons. And if something's jolly rotten, play more guitar.